Hi there, it's Keith. Uh, just wanted to do a run through of the Vintage Fairs and Events website for uh, dealers. And um, there is a, a different process for dealers to, uh, to attend to. So I just wanted to make sure that that was fairly clear so that everyone was fully aware of it. Um, once again, dealers who want to be on the site um, just go through into the advertising section and do that. In terms of dealers who want to um, uh, pay to be on the site via the advertising process, you'll go here and you put the email and a, and a password in. You'll then need to go to the drop down box and click on dealer before you click on sign in. Now, once you do sign in, if you haven't paid, um, you won't be able to do anything. Uh, in the in the admin area, uh, it's, it'll be frozen for you. Uh, what we have to do is we have to go in and and check a box to make sure that you are uh, you're right to go. So uh, just be aware of that. So let's go into a dealer's uh, back office and then we can have a look around. So this is Gold Coast Glitz. So this is this is Bromman himself. And what you can do is again the name. You can reset the password in there if you need. Uh, put all the standard details, uh, particularly phone numbers, emails and a website if you've got one. If you don't have a website, Facebook's just as good. Uh, so pop that information in there. Put in a bit of information about yourself and you'll find that you're actually also able to uh, load up five um, product pictures. Now I haven't done that on this as yet because I've been building out the main site but uh, just to be aware that you're able to do that and load those up. Now in the books, cameras, cars etc, this is all the types of products. We will be adding more as more dealers come on board and they're looking for specific uh, genres. We've also put in a, a section for uh, the age of the products you've got. Now you can you can tick any number of boxes that are relevant to your specific stock. Uh, if you've got new stuff, of course you should be tick uh, checking this one. And if it's up to and including 16.99, you should be checking this one here. So just you know, be honest. Put the right information down because it's uh, it's going out into the public, and uh, that's that's the way it should be done. The category of stock, we've got antique, we've got collectible new, collectible old, collectible used. So collectible old and used you can ch check both but they're viewed slightly differently so just uh, pop those in. If it's an emerging collectible you're welcome to check this box. If it's new, uh, again I'd do that. If you've got any vintage product you should do that there. You can upload an image and if you do want to have your uh, business featured on the home page. Uh, you will need to go through the advertising process to have that done. Uh, it's not very, not a uh, not a massive cost at all. So just um, let us know, and we'll organise that for you. Uh, approved. We we approve each and every application individually. We also uh, check the emails are right, and this is where the payment verification button is. So. That all makes um, a fair bit of sense. So just let's go back to the dealers and, and just have a look at how the page looks. <clears throat> this is how it rolls out and this is what your customers will see. And, and they're important because you're looking to find, they're looking to find you and you're looking for them to come and visit you. So again, information, you've got the ability to share and to email because of the email that you popped in. You've got the specialty area, uh, and if you've got lots of areas, then you've got a few more things to add in there. There is an ability to uh, put an ad in there, um, but there's only one ad like this that goes site-wide, so uh, first in best dressed. And then you've actually got the ability to go to participating events and actually let people know where you will be. So let me show you how that works. So let's say that we're going to the Bendigo Seams Old Clearing Sale. You have to be logged in and, and what you're logged in so let's go to Bendigo and scroll down and you will see oh, I've already clicked on that one so that one won't be there
oh sorry you will see in between here the event starting and join the newsletter there'll be a participate button so once you click on the participate button which will be right here you can click on that and that will place you on that site if you wish to remove yourself it's actually the reverse function so you can actually so let's say there's an illness or something comes up and you're not able to attend you can again log into your back office come here and there will be a remove participation button sitting in between these two boxes the join newsletter and the event starting time or so just to let you know you're also welcome to join the newsletter and uh, we'll get that out to you um, with the frequency we've already spoken about and this is actually where you'll get um, a lot more customers looking for you as well so the, the best information you can put out there is the best thing you can do for yourself so anyway um, as I say have a look at the site um, check out the advertising options uh, the blog is coming out this week and uh, let us know if you're um, you'd love to be on board because we'd love to have you anyway I'll talk to you soon bye for now